there below being pursued by the Los Angeles Police Department. We're hearing the driver and two other suspects. Very busy. You see the students there uh, on the corner there making a southbound turn again. Uh, uh, staying in the same neighborhood. Uh, so possibly he's connected to this neighborhood. He knows this neighborhood uh, well. And he's uh, crossing over 46th Street. Now a lot of heavy traffic because this is when school uh, gets into session here. Up on the curb. Narrowly missing the van, almost overturning there, taking that turn really tight. This is really challenging for officers uh, because these streets are narrow. There's parking on both sides. There are two lanes, and there's a lot of traffic this time of morning with schools just starting out on this very busy Thursday morning here, primarily staying on the numbered streets here, Steve. That's right, because they do, they, they do have an airship up. The LAPD does have a helicopter now, so they are going to be able to track him by the air, but across the center divider there, uh, ongoing uh, against oncoming traffic, uh, making a turn now back towards the, uh, the east here. Uh, and LAPD, I count at least six units uh, traveling uh, behind him, and they're trying to set up uh, some sort of traffic control around the neighborhood as well, being that he's primarily staying in the same area. Why he's uh, not giving up, uh, he thinks he can get away. He doesn't want to. And, and uh, there's a lot of LAPD units trying to track this guy. And it looks like, uh, no, ap actually no, uh, no front end damage. I, it appeared for a second there, the front end of that uh, Range Rover may have been damaged, but that's not the case. Now traveling back southbound here through South LA. He's been staying between about 48th and 52nd Street. The numbered streets running east-west here through South LA, the north-south streets, the majors are Broadway, Maine, Avalon, and Central. Oh, almost missing that guy. Look at him. That was really close. Yeah, and, and this uh, one, the, the one passenger. Yeah, he certainly did. He just looked out the, he just looked out the window there. And I, again, it's possible because he's staying in this neighborhood, he's trying to make contact with someone or, or stay close to an area that he knows. We'll widen out and we'll see if uh, police are still, yep, they still are tracking. And this, I, I'm surprised we haven't seen an accident yet, the way that uh, the way that he's driving, trying to uh, evade the Los Angeles Police Department against oncoming traffic, now heading back uh, down a numbered street uh, westbound towards the 110 freeway. Three people, there's a driver, and yeah, the, the driver, and then two passengers, that's what we heard. And we did hear initially, before we arrived on scene here, Stephen Aroxia, that one of the individuals did throw a weapon out. Going across the intersection here, yeah, this is this is such a dangerous situation. And when he gets a chance, he really speeds up. Uh, but, you know, in these areas uh, of the numbered streets, back on a numbered street, uh, again, uh, making his way westbound here through South Los Angeles. And it's the Los Angeles Police Department pursuing uh, the driver and the two suspects uh, who were believed to be armed. There's the 110 Harbor Freeway, so crossing over now towards the west side of the 110 freeway and turning uh, turning left on this uh, frontage road of the 110 Harbor Freeway, heading south through South LA. And he was on the west side of the freeway for a while, but then he came uh, he came across the freeway and was on the east side of the 110 freeway. The Harbor Freeway there, you see on the bottom of your screen. We'll try to get a uh, better picture of him here. And there will be an option for him to get on the freeway, so we'll see if uh, he chooses to do that. Picking up speed there uh, quite a bit, now that this area isn't quite as busy as it was on the east side of the 110 freeway where we saw all those schools and the narrow streets there, making a uh, continued southbound ride here on this frontage road. And, and again, this is right up against the 110 Harbor Freeway here. And there will be an on-ramp here. I believe it's at Manchester that he may be able to get on. There's a, a police, a LAPD SUV a trailing him just behind him here. Let's see what he does here, if he's gonna make a right turn. Yes, making a right turn here. So heading west here and that uh, we're in LAX airspace as of right now, and we're going to track him as far as we can. But uh, if we have to get, get closer to LAX, we may have to uh, pull off this uh, just a bit. But he's continuing westbound here. He's going right through stoplights and stop signs here. He almost hit a pedestrian, a bicyclist as well. As of right now, we're not hearing anybody been hit. Up oh, here's a little precarious situation with a trash truck and. That SUV did the right thing. He pulled around there. He saw what was coming, and that's what you need to do. If you're ever in a situation like this where you see something uh, unusual, pull off to the right. Give the officers plenty of room. Don't try to be a hero. Uh, that's Hoover Street right there. And he made his way across, uh, across Hoover and continuing westbound, I would say probably about 56th Street this would be, uh, close to Manchester, 
through South LA. The LAPD helicopter is up over this as well. He's making a left turn into a driveway now. Let's see what let's see what happens. We'll get on the north side of this. This is a very dangerous situation. The adrenaline's high. LAPD is setting up. There's a captain there telling him exactly what to do. It looks like he is going to give up. There's the driver of the uh, of the Range Rover there. And again, we heard that there were two other suspects, uh, passengers inside that car as well. He's backing up. It does appear he's doing what, what he's told. Now, typically what they do is they order each individual out one at a time. But sometimes uh, that might be different. But bottom line, they want the suspect's backs to them with their hands up. And it looks like they are doing uh, what they're told. He has something in his hand. He's agitated. The guy in the street's agitated, too. He's not. That guy looks like he's on his phone. The one, the one passenger, Stephen Aroxia. Stephen Aroxia. He's, he's agitated and he's on his phone, the guy and the. Okay, come on. Hey, look at him. He's facing, he's not doing, the, he, he, hey guys, look at the one, the one passenger facing the officer there, clearly agitated. He was holding his phone, I believe, and texting, and he is not doing what he's being told right now. He should be laid flat out, arms and legs spread. He's motioning towards the officers, looking directly at them, clearly not uh, doing what he's being told. That was one of the passengers inside. Uh, and again, we had heard, too, that there was a driver and two passengers. But as, at this point, we're just seeing the two individuals. And then the, the, the one now is, uh, is laying flat down again, but for a while there. It appears, it appears from our vantage point, it is that the, uh, the driver, uh, you know, we're, we're shooting from a distance and looking at a really small monitor here. What we'll, uh, we'll be able to determine, it would be a female officer who uh, would be the individual who would frisk um, any female suspects. But no, it looks like uh, both, uh, both suspects are males. And now they're clearing the car, making sure there's nobody else inside, tinted windows there. So we saw the four fingers, code four, so the automobile is clear, so there was just the driver and the passenger uh, there who were being uh, pursued by the Los Angeles Police Department. But we did have initial reports that uh, one of those two individuals did throw a weapon out during this pursuit through South LA. All right. Um, did KTLA get out of their commercial early? It, it had to have been. Good. Perfect. Good. As long as they didn't beat it. All right. All right, cool. He's got his lanyard with his, um, like, one guy's got a lanyard with his, like, work badge on. All right, um, let's get the street, Vince. I got to think it's, like, um, 56 or uh, that's that's Hoover, yeah. 57, so it's got to be 57. Yeah. Okay. I 
Uh, you tell me. I mean, I don't, I, you know. Okay, coming back to us. Uh, we'll widen out and we'll show uh, the Harbor Freeway here as well. For those of you just joining us, we are looking at the aftermath of a police chase that went through South Los Angeles. We watched as this white SUV evaded police turning on different streets in South LA before turning into a driveway. There were two suspects inside the vehicle. Both of them have since surrendered. That's right, just a driver on one We passenger. watched as they uh, exited the vehicle, the dropped to the ground. Uh, this uh, scene will be winding down shortly on 57th Street, just to the west. And were arrested of by LAPD. LA. You can, can see many LAPD units we'll responded to the scene in South LA, LA around 57th Street and Hoover Street. It looks like the chopper is now leaving the scene, so this will wrap up our police chase coverage out of Los Angeles. We appreciate anyone and everyone tuning in. For our coverage. If you're new to our channel, please feel free to hit the subscribe button on YouTube. And if you're watching on Facebook and want to stay posted on all sorts of breaking news, make sure to hit that like button on Facebook. That way you'll know whenever we go live with breaking news, such as a police chase like this.